Thanks for tuning in. My name is Brad Micklin. I'm the attorney managing member of the Micklin Law Group, which is a law firm concentrated in empowering men and fathers in divorce, custody, and family law matters, with offices in Nutley, Montclair, and Saddlebrook, New Jersey. I started doing these videos because I find that after about 20 something years worth of practice, people go into family court with certain expectations and they're not really prepared for what's really going to happen, sort of the practical aspects of the law. So while it's easy to watch a lot of videos that will tell you what to, to expect or what the law is, most don't really tell you about the failings. And while I'm not here to tell you it's a horrible thing or not to trust in the process, but I want you to be prepared for what you're going to experience. So my video today is hashtag family court sucks because restraining orders are never heard within 10 days. I say this because the statute, which I put in the link below, says that if a temporary restraining order is granted, you're supposed to have a final hearing or trial within 10 days of that. And the reason is a restraining order, a temporary restraining order, is a very swift, very rigid protection that's granted, often without a great deal of testimony and little verification from the court. It's intended to protect victims of domestic violence from future violence. It's a noble cause and it's a great statute. The problem is that it's supposed to be heard in 10 days because the relief that's granted can be, like I said, swift and rigid. The problem is it doesn't contemplate how long it may last. So a typical defendant may be removed from his or her house, even if they own it. You will likely not have contact or parenting time with your children. If you're, for instance, working at home during COVID or for any other reason, you might lose access to your personal items, your computer, and possibly then your job. The saving grace is that it's supposed to only be for a limited amount of time. So you're supposed to have a hearing within 10 days. The problem is first now with COVID that courts are backlogged and there's also a lot of reported domestic violence. So the volume is higher. Now, there are a lot of ways to understand what happens in a restraining order hearing and to prepare for it. I'm not gonna go into that because it's beyond the scope, but I did put some links below to other videos I did to help you understand a restraining order and how to prepare for one. And that's why I think Family court sucks because it doesn't give a final trial and restraining orders in 10 days like promised. I hope this information helps you. If it does, please give a like and share it so that others get to see the video. You can also subscribe so you get notices when I go online. You'll be able to post comments. You can ask me questions. And you can also post any kind of requests for information or topics you would like me to cover in the future. Thanks and stay safe. I'm also the proud author of How to Survive and Thrive When Divorcing a Narcissist. You can find the book on Amazon.com in a Kindle version and a hardback copy by searching my name or the title. I hope it helps you or anybody facing these issues. Here's my contact information if you have any questions or would like to schedule a meeting.